and welcome to the second IPEM President's blog. It's been a busy month. Um, IPEM have been working very hard, led by Jemima Eve in the National Office, on the background work to lobbying for the statutory registration of clinical technologists. They've been looking at some of the questions that we will be challenged on, in part to ensure that as and when the lobbying is successful, we can secure a successful and smooth transmission onto a statutory register for the workforce. The sort of questions that we've been looking at are questions such as what might the impact be on recruiting new members into the workforce of clinical technologists? What might be the impact on training? And what is the voluntary register take up at present in terms of demonstrating a need for such a register and which professions or parts of the profession should be registered and come under the scope of statutory registration. These are quite challenging and difficult questions, but it's important that we understand the answers and know what they are and how to mitigate any problems. This work is ongoing. Another area that IPEM have been raising awareness of recently is about the obsolete equipment in the NHS. And this was the subject of a dispatches documentary um, in this month. And if you want to find out more about this, do go and have a look on the IPEM website. On a related theme, October saw Global Clinical Engineering Day. Um, so thank you all to everyone who participated in this event and shared their work on social media to raise awareness of the role of clinical engineers in healthcare. So thank you for doing that. And as a quick reminder, the 7th of November is International Day of Medical Physics. So it's time for the medical physicists to demonstrate the same level of engagement in raising the awareness of the professions. Finally, on a still similar vein, uh, IPEM are working to a new website, which will be launched early next year, and to refreshing the range of stock images that we hold at the National Office for Publicity. If you of your, or your trust or organisation can provide access for, for taking photographs of equipment, technologies, physicists at work, then please do get in touch with the National Office um, at communications at ipem.ac.uk. Thank you very much for watching. See you shortly. Bye.